subscribe to ahead or you will lose your erotic sword of doom. Hey Quest Worlds, in today's video we're going to be going over the best settings in Avenged Quest Worlds. This video is going to be split into two sections, basic and advanced. The basic settings are the OG settings, the ones on the right side of the screen, and the advanced settings are the ones on the left side of the screen. I won't need to do much explaining for the basic settings, but for the advanced settings, I'll have a few examples of what they do on screen. So for the general settings, you want the visuals on high. It doesn't really affect the FPS, and if you've got low settings, it looks like you're playing Minecraft or some shit. The music sound effects and others should all be on zero, so you can watch ahead videos on the second monitor. Next up in the gameplay settings, most of these are optional, except from animations. You want them off. This is major lag reduction. With animations, you'll be getting fucking two frames per second. Next up in the chat settings, all of these are optional. But turn the fucking sense of profanity off, man, for sake. Next up, we're getting into advanced settings here. Allow quest log turnings on. This is fantastic. This saves you so much time. You walk into the end of the map, kill some enemy, and you don't have to walk all the way back to turn it in. You can just turn it in right where you're standing. Auto untarget dead targets and auto untarget yourself is fucking necessary to be on. You're just pressing 2, 3, 4, 5 with your hand watching a video and you've accidentally selected a corpse. So now you're just not farming. This can save so much time. The battle, the battle analyzer is a menu that you click and it opens and it records an analytics. Dude, I love this thing. It's like DPS meters from World of Warcraft. Battle pets off what it does is it gives you equipped pet and animation and we all know animations reduce your fps character select screen this shit is awesome man you can just easily switch between your characters holy shit chat settings on you want to enable timestamps in case you've missed a message and you want to disable red messages because that just floods your chat chat ui enabled it makes the chat look so much better and this minimal mode here this is optional but it's recommended if you're going to be fighting some bosses you can just turn that on and it's not going to cover your screen class actives and auras ui that is a must-have for classes like yamino running you need to see the duration of your buffs to maximize your, your damage disable tooltips is optional i recommend keeping that on disable aura text make sure you have that off you really need to see the aura text for bosses like ultra ezra gel color sets is optional i recommend having it on if you like switching your armors a lot and changing your cc but i just stick with like one armor so it's not for me the custom ui drops is a must have the old adventure quest drop system is so boring man it covers up your screen you can't see anything turn your settings like this invert menu off warn me when declining a drop off hide drop notification on hide temp drop notification off opened menu on draggable mode off locked position on quantity warnings on disable chat scrolling on it's so annoying when you accidentally hover your mouse over chat hit your scroll wheel and you're right to the top so you need to come all the way back down fuck that man turn it on disable damage numbers off you want to be seeing how much damage you're doing which classes are best and stuff and it's a very minimal fps change so why not Disable damage strobe on, that's optional. I hate the damage strobe, I just want to see the numbers, but it doesn't affect your FPS either way. Disable monster animations on, this is a major FPS reduction. Disable quest pop-up, disable quest tracker off. I don't think the yellow text on my screen is a problem, but if you think it's a problem, then turn it on. Disable self animations off, I like to see my animations, I know when I'm attacking, but disable skill animations on, that's a major FPS reduction right there. Display FPS, off, you know, don't depress yourself. Draggable drops off because your drops are disabled. Freeze lock monster position on. This is a must have. It's easy to click on enemies and it provides much more efficient farming. Hide ground items off because I like to see what people have equipped. Hide healing bubbles on because you know when people are getting healed because they've got some uh, green text on next to them. Hide player names off because, you know, we're not trying to play hide and seek. We're trying to play adventure quest. Hide UI off. Why would you have that on? Invisible monsters off. There's a button just next to your character picture. You can click this and they just disappear and reappear. Fantastic. Quest pinner off. But you can enable that when you need it. Quest progress notification on. I think it's helpful. Reaccept quest after turning. I mostly keep it off, but I enable it when I'm farming. Show monster type on. This is so important for the end game plays, but if you're a lower level, then this doesn't matter to you. Smooth background on. Why not? Static player out, I have this off because this can cause glitches with the plays in yoga and stuff like that. Visual skill CDs on, this is so useful man. This adds a number on your abilities instead of it just going round in a circle. And after you've got all of these settings, make sure you close the AQW, load it back up and they'll all take place. You're going to see how much of a smoother game this is with these options enabled. I hope this helps you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.